And I think this gives uh, a visual of how many people were lost, but families that are impacted, jobs that were impacted by the loved one. Yoletta Pringle plants a flag for the loved one she lost to COVID-19. She is one of thousands to come to the D.C. Armory Parade Ground in Southeast Washington, D.C. to honor those lost in a public art project called In America, How Could This Happen? D.C. artist Suzanne Brennan Furstenberg created this space of national mourning, honoring each life lost to COVID-19 with a white flag. My hope is that this will give us as a nation and as individuals a, a, a moment to pause. We are so caught up in our lives and so caught up in trying to manage this pandemic and our social isolation. What we need is a moment of pause. Dr. Tom Inglesby, director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security, was on hand for the event. He says the installation is a reminder of where we've been and what lies ahead if we are not vigilant. There's been an enormous outpouring of service and work to try and bring this under control. But, but we also need leaders to be clear about what's going on. We, we can't have leaders saying that we're turning the corner when the numbers of cases are continuing to rise. It's real. Uh, there are some that don't believe it, uh, but for those of us who have had the impact of lost loved ones, we understand how real it is and how significant the impact is when you lose a loved one. An estimated 240,000 flags will be planted during the two-week exhibition. Flags will be added daily as the death count rises. Community members are invited to plant flags and personalize them with the names of loved ones through Friday, November 6th. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News. <music>